Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all of you. Before I start my presentation, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Putri Nahafiza Binti Sulaiman. I'm from Polytechnic Sultan Idris Shah. Today, I would like to present about satisfaction level of night market traders at Kuala Selangor and Tanjung Karang. This is the topic that I will present to you. Background of the study Khalila 2010 stated that night market as a temporary weekly event that usually takes place at available open spaces and on roads or parking lots at temporary close to allow its operation. It shows that the night market often reflected certain aspect of Malaysian unique culture, especially the people, the food, the eating habits as well as the diversity of the population. Night market also called as Pasar Malam in the Malay language are very well-known parts of Malaysia shopping either for food, clothing, accessory, household goods or perishable cooking supply. Moreover, there are some of the researchers stated that the night market can be found in almost every city town, small town, and village in the Malaysia. It attracts vast numbers of people, mainly because of the convenient location, the variety of the product, and the vibrant environment is offered. This statement support the to Su Hins et al. 2008, whereby the trade might also induce variable purchase behavior and social interaction behavior in tourists. Those the experience in itself can be considered as a tourism product. Moreover, Zainuddin 2010 stated that satisfaction can be defined as the happier the person is in the work setting, they will satisfied with the job. It shows that the happier of the night market traders with their work setting, they will certify with their job in the night market. Problem statement. Khalila 2010 stated that there are several complaints from night market traders about the placement of night market, which placement can be strategic or not for those resident to buy item. Moreover, Khalila 2010 also stated that some facilities are not around the night market can be problem for the night market trader. For example, toilets or prayer room for the Muslim. Managing, management problems and inefficient waste disposal whereby it is tradition that is synonym with the night market whereby the food safety and hygiene knowledge of night market traders can be questionable. This statement were picked up from Utusan Online. 8 June 2013. Research objective and research question. In this research, there are two research objectives. One is to identify the basic facility needed by the night market traders. Two is to identify the understanding of night market traders in food hygiene and sanitation. As for the research question for this research objective, one research what are the basic facility needed by night market traders and to what extend the understanding of night market traders in food hygiene and sanitation. This is the study framework and hypothesis. As you can see, there are two hypotheses. Hypothesis one, there are relationship between basic facility and satisfaction level of night market traders. Two, there are relationship between hygiene and sanitation and satisfaction level of night market traders. This is the literature review. Research methodology. This research will be approached by using descriptive study, quantitative approach, and self complete questionnaire. The population that will be used in this research are the night market traders. The instrument will be divided into four main sections. The scale of the, this questionnaire will be used nominal scale and linked scale. The data collection will be at night market, 
at Kuala Selangor and Tanjung Karang. The data analysis that will be used SPSS, the Pearson Correlation Analysis. This is the data analysis and the result respondent of demography. As we can see that the demographic variables such as age, we can see that it shows that majority of the night market traders was 30 to 39 years old. As for the race, it's clearly showing that Malay were dominant on the night market traders area rather than Chinese and Indians. As for the gender, this is expected that male are seen dominate the night market traders compared to female night market traders. Lastly, for the demographic variable is the education. It shows that most of the respondents have SPM or STPM followed by the others. Next is the Pearson Correlation Analysis. It, in this study, it shows that all the variables have highly significant positive effect with each other. In this study also, it shows that there was a strong correlation on basic facility and satisfaction level according to the hygiene and sanitation towards night market traders' satisfaction level. From the result, indicate that there are significant relationship existed between all the variable in the study in the present study. It showed that all the variables supported the hypothesis that been stated before there was relationship between satisfaction level night market traders. So in conclusion, in this research the Pearson correlation was used to analyze the Hypothesis. This analysis was to use as in mean the relationship between the factor that influence the nut market traders' satisfaction levels. It shows that the hypothesis that include are positive. So the hypothesis one, they are relationship between basic facility and satisfaction level of nut market traders. Hypothesis two, they are relationship between hygiene and sanitation and satisfaction level of night market traders. This is the reference that you can see that I use in research. Thank you. That's all presentation from me.